So now let us look at subscripting leads. So we have two type of list subscripting that we can perform on our list. So first we can create a subset of the list where we return a shorter list or we can reference a single element within the list. So what we're gonna do is we are also going to use the square bracket where we pass in the input to those square brackets and those inputs can be blank or a vector of positive integers or negative integers or logical values or even character values. Okay, so let's look into this example using our named list. Okay, so we're going to say this is our named list, right? And if we just use square brackets and we have blank subscript, so you notice that we are returning a whole list. If we're using blank subscript, we are returning the whole list. Now, let us use positive integer, right? Let's say we pass in one in this case. And if we run this, you observe that it's returning this vector, right? Now, let, now let's say we want the class of named list, right? And then we find the subscript. Here we pass in one. We observed that this has returned the list, right? So from this example, you can observe that the return object is itself a list, right? So we have used class function to check the type of object and it is confirming that what is being returned is a list. So this is important because later we're going to learn how can we subscript using double brackets, using, or using double square brackets. But for now, we are just learning how can we subscript a list passing positive integer subscript, okay? And let's say we said negative one and we pass in this, you observe that it has omitted that vector and returned the matrix. We can also provide a vector of logical integers to specify the list elements that you want to return or omit, okay? So we're going to use our named list, right? And what we're gonna do in that case, we're gonna pass in this vector of logical values and say true and false, right? So what this is going to do is that it's going to say this first position, this is true, so return the vector. Now it's false, return, don't return the second element within the list, which is the matrix. Let's run this you observe that this return the vector. Let's say we have true and true. This is going to return both elements that are found in the vector. Now, if our list has element names, right, we can provide the character of values in order to identify the elements that we want to return. Let us look at our example and look into this list with we, we call named list, right? So this list has vec and matrix. So we have provided names for these two elements that are within our list. So in order to find the subscript, we can just simply pass in those names. Let's say we're looking for this matrix. And let us run this. You observe that it has returned the matrix based on what um, character we have provided here. 